I don't know what you're talking about. Better repeat that. Maybe you better tell me what you're talking about. I don't understand what the what you're talking about. Repeat it. <laughs> well, what's the point if there's if there's another account associated with the username? I you, I can't I can't even believe I saw that. You mean you got you issued two usernames to different accounts? The same username to different accounts? So. At the bank, yeah. Well, that's that's what your online banking said. It said this user account has is, is been is 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 another user, and it doesn't recognize the computer. So that means somebody else with the same username is accessing within a different computer, and they change the security questions. That's called that's called that's called your your security has been breached. There's a problem here with security. You guys, t you guys said it. It's your, it's your website. You know, I'm just telling you what it said. Well, I haven't been. That's what I'm saying. I haven't logged in, and since I set up the online account, and I said paperless. It's now I can't log in, and it's not paperless. And now it tells me there's a different user associated or, uh, with, with the account, and it's coming from a different computer. Is this starting to kind of doesn't that kind of paint a picture for you? Well, if somebody else knows the, the user ID, if somebody else knew the user ID, could they bypass all this? Could they get in with just the user ID by, by guessing a really stupid uh, question? Like mother's maiden name or something like that? I mean, come on, man. That's why I don't use security questions, because anybody could figure them out. Well, it's a very, 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 very bad option. So that's, I don't use security questions because they're really, really bad ideas. And so now I got a security question instead of the password. What's wrong with the password that I set up? I entered a password. And I have the password. And I've never been prompted to actually enter the password that I created. Instead, I got a security question that I didn't come up with. I have a password that I can't use, which I did create, but the password is nowhere in the field, the text field. It doesn't ask for the password. It says, you, I don't recognize your computer. Well, well, what do you mean you don't recognize my computer? You just proved to me by telling me that there was a different user associated with the same username, and, it, and that person is using a different computer. And there's security questions have been set that don't make any sense. I didn't set that security question because it's impossible to answer. So now we have three things that indicate that somebody else has, has accessed the account with a different computer. Okay, using the same username. It told me that on a prompt. And we also have uh, adjustments made and the, the password. I don't know, what's the point of having a password? Why, why, why did I create a password if it's going to ask me a question I can't answer instead of entering just the freaking password? Why? Because the account was accessed by another computer. So you guys, at that point, if I set up the uh, account on a computer, if there was a, an argument about whose computer was being used, then you guys should have no, notified me back when, the, when another computer was used other than the one I used to create the password. And yeah, I didn't get an email notification about another user account. I didn't get a notification about uh, about another uh, uh, computer being used. I didn't even get a reply to the emails pointing this out to you. All I know is everything Bank of America done has done so far is the exact opposite of what I intended to do. And it doesn't make any sense. And we got three red flags here that tell me that there's that this account is way screwed up and you guys don't even reply to emails with concerns about security.
that's that's where I'm at right now. Now, how do you want to fix that, ma'am? Well, that sounds like a very, very good idea <laughs> as a start. But you know what? What's the point? If you guys aren't even going to reply to emails about security issues, I mean, what kind of? I mean, what do you? I mean, what kind of? What kind of biz, online business are you running where you don't even reply to security questions in an email? Did you reply to security? Did, is the new email address reset too? You don't even know what the email, you don't even know what the reply email address is now? No, I'm talking about mine. I'm talking about mine. I already contacted customer service. You guys don't reply to emails. So now I gotta call you. How long is this call been going? Uh huh. And before that, I got to run around from the other lady. All right. So how are you gonna fix this? No, no, no. It's only because I wrote this in an email, and you didn't you didn't reply to the email. That's why we're having this conversation. So what are you going to do first? What are you going to do first? I think you better start off with the user ID. That sounds like a very good idea. But I'm telling you what the problem is. is I'm not telling you how to fix it because obviously you're, I don't understand your system. And you know what? I, I, apparent, I don't think I want to understand your system because it's telling me that it's way screwed up. Yeah. How about Bank of America sucks? B of A sucks. It negatively reflects Bank of America. Okay. You can't. I have to choose another ID because you you don't like that. Is that a policy? I can't choose anything that degrades the Bank of America. Hmm. How about uh, Heart B of A? <laughs> yeah, I'll post a video, man. That'd be funny. Huh? 